had a good question. How do you fight sleeplessness? Huge, huge question for me. Yes. What is sleep? It seems to be the time of the day that you got to be completely peaceful. Um, and a lot of us aren't peaceful. So how can you achieve some sort of peace in your life when every ounce of your day is unpeaceful? Um, <clears throat> I find I've always struggled with being able to just fall asleep mostly because um, there's so many problems going on that as soon as you get a moment to yourself you know the time people think that you're sleeping that's the time that your brain can go well maybe I should do this maybe I should do that maybe I, you know this is the time that you can really start to organize your thoughts and <clears throat> When you sleep, that's when all of your reasoning comes together. It formulates, um, it's like everything that you experience during your day is a gathering of data that make up your rules of how you live your life. Um, every day you experience something that gives you new information that says, oh, I'm going to take this direction or I'm going to get up every day and do the same thing every day and, you know, have the same life patterns every single freaking day until something new pops up that forces me to react differently or come up with a different plan. So with this new information that you get during the day, it's like while you sleep, everything is getting filed in your left brain filing cabinet <clears throat> that says remember this remember this remember this you can remember every single friggin thing that's ever happened to you but why do you only tend to remember specific things I mean there's 24 hours in a day can you actually repeat every single thought you've ever had do you remember every single thing that happened during your day? Or do you tend to only remember certain things here and there? So you'll only remember relevant things to you. And this is where in your filing cabinet, when you sleep, is when everything gets put together. But your ego is going to be, no, I got to fix it. And you're not allowing the process of the brain to do the work for you so it's never going to get done right um it it what you think about just before you go to sleep seconds before you go to sleep has a lot to do with you creating the design for your tomorrow <laughs> so if you're going to think about all of the problems after you sleep the next day it's like you've created another play for you to experience the next day <clears throat> you knew exactly you know what color to paint the rooms what kind of mood people were in you were the designer of your next day the night before by the thoughts that you have just seconds before you go to sleep and give your brain your movie creator all of the instructions of how to build the next day this is law of attraction if you don't like your life look at what you're thinking about and you know if, if hell comes into your life you gotta ask the question why do you think you're attracting that People used to ask me that all the time, and it's like, well, they're nuts. Why would I want to, you know, it, it, just the way that question is asked is kind of wrong, but I'm trying to ask it in a little different way, that there is something that you are wanting through the challenges that you're experiencing. 
they're all good things, but you're perceiving them to be bad. There's something you can definitely benefit out of it, but you're looking at it through negative eyes. As soon as you get into pain, you're going to see things differently that won't work. And if you are in pain, if you are frustrated, if you, you know, that is when the brain is going to say, I need to fix it. And you're going to think about it all the time and not be able to sleep. Um, but if you can let go, <clears throat> then, and that's uh, a lot easier said than done. <laughs> Um, for me, one of the biggest things that helped me is, well, this Hall of Dynamics, it'll tell you exactly what it is you need to do for yourself. And I know what I need to do for myself. Um, it don't really matter whether you have all of the answers to the universe, um, if you have every answer to every problem it really doesn't make any difference if you can't walk the walk so um, for me I'm seeing that a lot of things start with self we're all interconnected so um, what out of billions and billions billions and billions of different experiences out there in the world there's a reason why I'm having the experience I have for today um, I obviously want to attract that there's it's my the reflection of who I am is going to show up the next day um, so it is a hard pill to swallow but you gotta say why am I attracting such a negative experience what is my gain what is it where is the good in it because I can't see it it's only viewing it from a negative perspective that'll keep you up at night um, it's the doubt it's the not knowing it's the where do I go from here it's the questions that are so open-ended that your brain will not go to sleep until it finds its answer or gets worn out. So for me, I was listening to myself and, and doing as much as I can for myself, being aware of what I think about 30 seconds before I go to sleep helps me to really try and focus on what it is I think about just before I go to sleep nowhere near perfect at that I know I know exactly what I should be doing but do I do it completely the best thing to do is is create a ritual which I did a year ago but fell through didn't follow up on it but it is like drawing a symbol for what it is you want to create it's got to be something really simple that represents your whole freaking day you know what is it you wish to experience the next day and draw it and then burn it and if you do that just before you go to bed that image because it, you put that suggestion in your own head um, will be there and it will be something that you think about and if you think about that just seconds before you go to sleep then you have the potential to create it a lot easier for tomorrow now um, sometimes you need to exhaust the brain it's so um, it is a matter of exhausting the brain it, it's like whatever you have too too much of you want to sort of go there a little deeper so the brain is tr is having a massive workout so you want to work it out even more to completely exhaust it so I know it's working out I know that the more that I am exercising my body running it as much as I possibly can um, then I'll be exhausted <laughs> and I'll just pass out 
when I start doing things for myself that are better for myself, I notice that I can sleep a lot better. When I notice I'm fighting, you know, trying to sleep, then the thoughts will not stop. The problem is, is you need to stop the thoughts. Um, my one son can sleep on a dime. As soon as he hits his head on the pillow, he is sleeping. Um, and he just sees black. I don't just, my brain, I can shut my eyes. It don't go black. <laughs> you can tell me to meditate and the steps to meditate, but it don't do that. Um, my thoughts just never, ever, 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 ever stop. So that causes a little problem with sleeplessness. So it's so much of, well, why do you want to think about that? Why is that your problem? Why is, you know, it is asking self good questions that end up giving you what it is you want. If I'm the one that wants sleep, some of the advice that self is going to tell self, you're not going to really like, because it, it'll keep saying, well, stop talking, stop thinking about that. You know, if you ask your brain how do i sleep well your brain will say stop thinking <laughs> you know so then you've got to just stop thinking so you got to rationalize why that thought is not worth having you know should i think and obsess over that or sleep so it is it is choices all the time and and it is like if you need to be in a fight then you're going to be in a fight sleep is a time that will show you how much peace you have in your life how much do you trust in yourself how much do you trust in your outer world um things are doom and gloom but Every problem is born with a solution. We just can't see it. So it's a matter of, do you trust yourself to eventually see it? I do. Um, I've seen it happen so many times that I do trust that the universe tends to find a way. The less I fight it, the faster it goes. So the more I'm relaxed, the more I know I'm on target. The more I worry about what other people are going to think or um, how I have to prove something, then the slower things go. So if you are having problems sleeping, it's just your measuring tool to see how much peace you have in your life. If you are fighting for world peace out there, start with peace within yourself. You have nothing to offer. You have no advice. You are the problem if you are not being the solution. So it's not to say that I'm perfect. I want to go for a walk and every single morning, I want to get out there at six, but I'm okay in between six and seven. Um, only because I'm trying to change the thought river of my mind. If I introduce something completely different, um, different will show up. But I get these thoughts oh you need to do this or you need to do this or you need to do that i i get convincing thoughts that guide me off the path i want to go all the time and it's like i don't know how to say no to myself and a lot of it is with that smoking it's like there's a thought in my head that always convinces me go for that smoke you know is there peace there why Discovering self brings better sleep. You can't just, if you take a sleeping pill and solve your sleeping problem that way, you will never discover the best aspect of yourself. It's like go into your problem, find out what it wants and give it to it. That's what I'm doing. Not perfect at it. It's like a life process. It's a, it's fun journey. Peace out.